how does one maintain composure? In fact, not only composure, but a feeling of happiness at a time that is very difficult for the Jewish people, when there is problems and issues and concerns and worries and fears that are we're being hit with that we haven't seen in our day and in our generation. I'd like to share with you a tip from the prophet Isaiah. But before that, let's go to an episode in our weekly portion. At the end of the weekly portion, Miriam, the prophetess, the, si- the sister of Moshe, was hit with a uh, spiritually generated physical illness. And the Torah records how the whole Jewish people waited for her, did not travel until she was healed, until she got better. And Rashi explains that the whole Jewish, what did, well, how did she merit that the whole Jewish people should wait for her? That was as a reward, as a merit that she achieved when she was a child. And baby Moses was put into the water, into the Nile River. And the Torah says, Vatesa vachoso, Vatesatsa vachoso merochok, and the sister, his sister, stood from afar to see. She was waiting to see what was going to happen. Because of that, because she waited for her brother, the whole Jewish people years later later, waited for her. What is the connection? And how did that act of waiting bring her the merit that the whole Jewish people should wait for her in order to answer that question. We need to understand what waiting means. We are waiting for the salvation for the Jewish people. We're waiting for the Mashiach. We're waiting for the Messiah. As a matter of fact, and the Talmud says that one of the questions that we're asked at, uh, after, after we pass on is, see, peace only the Yeshua. Did you wait? Did you anticipate the uh, salvation of the Jewish people, the coming of the Messiah? Rabbi Echeskel Abramsky points out, what does waiting mean? Does waiting mean hoping? Or does waiting mean, I know it's, co- I know it's coming, and I look forward to its coming? See, peace of Yeshua, waiting for the salvation of the Jewish people does not mean to hope. Hope, when we're in trouble, we hope. During the COVID crisis, oh, we hoped, we hoped. When, when there's trouble, oh, we hope things are going to get better. I'm hoping for the coming of the Messiah. That's not what the, the uh, requirement of the Jew is. I mean, looking at my man, these 13 principles of faith, animam in be'amun shalema. I believe with complete faith in the coming of the Messiah and the salvation of the Jewish people. Animam in. I believe means, I know it's going to happen. In the Marif service, we say, emes vo'emuna. It's true and I believe. What do you mean it's true and I believe? Because we as Jews, we know, we believe in the Torah. We know that the Torah is true, actually. We say, Asher no san lano Torah semes, you gave a Torah of truth. We know that the Torah is true. So believing means the strength to re- reinforce inside me that which I know is true. So when the Jew says, Ani mamin, I believe, I believe, it's not just I hope for the Messiah to come. I hope for salvation. I believe means I know it's coming and I can't wait. And you know what the prophet Isaiah says? The prophet Isaiah says, Ashrei kol choche vo. Fortunate, happy is the person who is waiting who is believing, who is anticipating the coming of the salvation for the Jewish people. Happy is the person who's anticipating. What do you mean happy is the person who's anticipating? There's trouble, there's things going on, there's problems in the world. Happy is the person who's anticipating? The prophet Isaiah says, yes, you can achieve a feeling of tranquility even in a world of turmoil. If you believe with complete faith and anticipate the coming of the Messiah, the salvation of the Jewish people, may Hashem help us that 
we can believe in this, we believe and reinforce within ourselves this principle and all the principles of faith that were taught to us and handed down to us from generation to generation. And as Isaiah says, Ashrei kochochevo, happy is the person, happy is the person who believes, happy is the person who not only says an imam and I believe, but feels it. May Hashem help that we can feel it, and in that merit, may we soon see it. Have a fabulous Shabbos.